This is the new BMW 3 Series, and in this review, we're telling you 10 things that you need to know about it. But first, go to whatcar.com for a great deal on your next car, and to see lots more new car reviews like this, subscribe to our channel. Since 1975, the BMW 3 Series has been seen by many as the ultimate saloon. In all the versions we've had since then, it's never strayed far from its ethos of being a well-made, sporty, rear-wheel drive car with a stellar choice of engines. When the latest seventh generation version was released in 2019, it was better than ever. Now, three years into that car's life, it's received a facelift to tweak the design and update the interior. The new 3 Series has loads of competition, so if you're looking at this car, you might also be considering some other rivals like the Mercedes C-Class and the Audi A4, as well as the Alfa Romeo Giulia and the Jaguar XE, and maybe even the Tesla Model 3. So what's new with the facelifted 3 Series? Well, not much. It's hard to notice, but it does have a slightly different front end from before. You've got these slimmer LED headlights with an inverted L shape. And if you have adaptive headlights, then there's these blue elements as well. The grille is different from before, but they haven't just made it 10 times bigger like on some other new BMWs. It's a subtle evolution of what was there before. So the size isn't different, it's the outline which has changed. And it's now got this double bar design. The interior is a bit different as well. So now you have paddles on the steering wheel as standard. These air vents are a bit slimmer. You've got a redesigned gear selector and there's now touch sensitive controls on the center console down here. But the general quality is the same as it was before really. So it's very good, feels very sturdy. Most of the materials are really nice. It's not perfect because some of these plastics down here on the center console don't feel quite so good as they do in an equivalent Audi A4, but still by the standards of this class, it is a very good interior. But probably the biggest and most obvious change with the new 3 Series is up here. So now you've got a 12.3 inch digital driver display joined to a massive 14.9 inch touchscreen infotainment system in this curve up on the dashboard here, which is the same as what you'll find in the i4 and also in the iX. Now, for the most part, this is really impressive. The driver display is very crisp. It's got really nice graphics, very easy to see. This infotainment system is really responsive as well but there are quite a lot of menus. So it could do with maybe half the amount of menus that you're presented with. And also some of these icons here are a bit on the small side. So they're kind of tricky to hit accurately while you're driving the car. But what's great is the fact that BMW has kept the rotary dial down here on the center console. So while you're driving, you've got this physical control to help use the functions on the infotainment system. There's also an updated voice command system, and this whole thing can accept over the air updates for the car as well, which is all great. The worst thing though, is the fact that in trying to modernize this interior and put some touch sensitive buttons down here, they've taken away the physical controls for the climate control. So now it's all on the touchscreen as it is in the iX and in the i4. So yes, it's good that they're always visible and there's a nice easy shortcut button to the climate menu, but it's not as easy to use while you're driving as physical buttons would be. So that's a shame. Now the redesigned front end means that the new 3 Series is a tiny little bit longer than it was before at the front, but apart from that, the dimensions are unchanged. So rear seat space and boot space in the saloon is very good by class standards. And don't forget, there's also a 3 Series Touring which offers the same 3 Series package, but just with a little bit more practicality. Just bear in mind though, that with this estate car, there are other rivals that are more practical in terms of boot space and rear seat space. But if you like the 3 Series and you just want a little bit more practicality, then this is a great option. And interestingly, in Germany, it massively outsells the saloon. The engine lineup is the same as before, so that means there's three petrols, one plug-in hybrid, and two diesels. And it's a really, really strong lineup. So basically, if you buy a 3 Series, you can't pick a bad engine. So it's the same engines as before, and the driving experience is the same as well, because mechanically, this facelifted 3 Series is unchanged. Now, with a lot of cars, you might say, that's a bit of a missed opportunity because with a facelift that gives a manufacturer a chance to tweak this or change that 
and I haven't done that with the 3 Series. But we're talking about something that was already brilliant. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Maybe one thing BMW could have looked at is the suspension tuning because this is on the firm side, definitely. But it's not uncomfortable. And the way that this car has been set up makes it brilliant to drive. So if you soften the suspension, you would probably lose a bit of that sharpness, which would be a shame. Anyway, they haven't done that. And we're in an M340i right now. And really this is the three series at its best. You've got a lovely, smooth, rapid three liter straight six engine, a really snappy gearbox. Everything feels so tight. It's really good to drive. And you don't have to have the M340i to enjoy driving your three series. Whatever engine you go for, this is a great car on the road. If there is one negative, perhaps it's a shame BMW didn't tinker with the plug-in hybrid 330e for this facelift. So that means the electric only range of that model is still around 38 miles, which in the real world will be less than 30 miles from its 12 kilowatt hour battery. Compared to the new plug-in hybrid Mercedes C-Class, that really is quite far behind. The C300e should be able to travel twice as far using electric power only, offering a massive official range of 68 miles from its 25.4 kilowatt hour battery. Still, while the plug-in hybrid numbers may seem a little off today's pace, every other engine option in the 3 Series lineup is incredibly impressive. And really, aside from the plug-in hybrid version of this car, the best thing about the facelifted 3 Series is the fact that nothing much has changed. So that means in pretty much all aspects from its driving dynamics to its interior quality, the new car is just as brilliant as the class leading old car. But if there is a worst thing about the new 3 Series, then it's probably the fact that they've removed the physical buttons for the climate controls and put them on the touchscreen. So not much has changed, but not much needed changing. The new 3 Series is just as brilliant as the old 3 Series. If you wanna read more on this class leading saloon, then head to whatcar.com, where you can save more than 1,000 pounds on one right now. Click on the link at the top of the screen or look in our description below to go straight to that deal. Thanks for watching, and if you wanna see lots more reviews like this, subscribe to our channel.